Hey everyone. Hey everyone. It is. See, I always gotta look at my little uh, thing, but it is March 18th um, and around 4.03 p.m. <sighs> what a day it's been. I have been, I met with a friend earlier for some breakfast and then talking to my other friend who's starting a business so there's a lot of good vibes going on in my world i hope the same for you so uh, right now i am getting ready for my event tomorrow it's a mickey mouse garland this time you'll get to meet my assistant i think i'm gonna put him on the vlog <laughs> <laughs> or he'll be the hot behind the scenes recording so we actually are going to be meeting up going together i have to eventually invest in the trailer because in two weeks i'm gonna get these beautiful backdrops i had to go all the way to tampa which is like an hour and a half from me um to go pick it up could i have found somebody in orlando yes i actually did but i actually found them later so that's okay it's all right we're going to we have multiple ways to get the things that we need. I'm going to be making the balloon garland, prepping. Obviously, if you never watched this video right here for the Valentine's Day garland, I talk about what I do with the prep work, how many um, bags and stuff like that is going on. So I'm going to start blowing them up, putting them down. And then tomorrow morning, I'll meet up with my assistant and then we're going to head out for this balloon garland. I will say this, and there's a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes, but I'm trying to figure out, should I tell y'all the real tea or should I keep it to myself? Because I don't want to talk about other people behind their back. I've never been that way, but this was a last minute event and I'm starting to realize that it takes about a few days, like between five to eight days for my clients to actually pay the deposit now that could be my fault in a sense but there's a lot of like ideas that come in and then i have to readjust certain things but the building the relationships prior to that to make them feel comfortable investing is something that i definitely work on but because this was a last minute event that i normally never pick up on i don't take things within a week and it has been a week and she wanted a discount and i technically gave her a discount yes i'm going against what i normally say <sighs> it's okay though we learn our lessons it's the ones who look for the discounts who the require the most work right now i'm about to get ready then i'll start recording uh, setting up this time i will be able to like have you guys watch us set up put my phone in and you know you know create the balloon garlands and put it on the walls and so we're good to go other than that i will say this don't give discounts <laughs> the moment you make a decision you're going to get tested and i said no i will not not today Satan. no no more discounts, no more two week events, regardless if it's available or not. Stick to your policies and procedures despite what's in front of you. I guarantee you get more of the good things that you want. All right, let's make this balloon garland. Getting ready. Right now we're gonna set up the balloon garland right here. It is a Mickey Mouse theme, so let's see what we can. So I'm wondering if I zoomed in. Oh no. Oh it is. Okay. <laughs> I 
I never record with somebody. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome. So we didn't get started with the morning um, because <laughs> I was stressed. So, and we're in Starbucks waiting 3,000 years for our coffee. So I figure I give you an update about what's going on. And can I say your name? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're in Starbucks. Xavier is like, no, he's not camera ready, even though he's going to be in some of the vlog and the time lapse video. So you'll see, obviously you did see him. This has been an interesting client experience. Um, and then as soon as I order my coffee, I will tell you. But for the most part, I think it came out really well. I'm always, I always feel like, all right, yeah, never mind. I got to order my coffee first. Coffee and content. Uh, grande iced caramel macchiato with coconut milk and extra caramel. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let me tell y'all what happened. So, and I'm not gonna talk bad about a client because there were a lot of things that I'm about to say. What are you doing? I'm paying. Oh, thank you. Yes, this is a business, <laughs> business transaction, guys. <laughs> I booked this client last minute because I was emotionally tied to her experience, and I will say this is that. Don't don't do what I did. Um, I just went against everything that I already know to be true, and it was a hassle in the end. So I am definitely learning a lot of lessons. I was telling Xavier like before we left, like what happened. So long story short, even though I'm gonna tell you the whole story, so it's not really short. The woman hits me up about two weeks ago. Mind you, I have a three week policy of when I actually book a client, right? And I think you should all have that when it comes to building your business because if not. You 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 have to say no even if you're available to just r train people on when you want them right and then when you're in the universe and energy all around us you want to make sure that you're letting like the the what you attract know your boundaries so I did it <laughs> and it ended up being a good experience but there was a lot of lessons that I learned so number one stick to your you know two week three week one week window when people when i coach my designers when they first start sometimes they do a one week window because they have a lot of time and they don't have a lot of clients and i understand that because i used to be the same way but when it comes down to when you're building clientele like i'm in a different position so now it's a three week eventually will be 30 days right that's my overall goal once i start picking up with events I go into now I can't be booked within the month just to guarantee that I'm able to get the balloons and I'm able to now be able to provide the service and not stress because I want to do customized backdrops and all that good stuff all right so we're gonna stop recording get our coffee and then I'll come back okay yeah see now now you jinxed me so now I don't know where I left off <laughs> damn all right so let's talk about the client the three-week policy is in place now more than ever so even if I don't have a booking within three weeks, which actually did happen in my DMs, this woman wanted to book within two weeks and I was just like, oh no. So there's a lot of red flags that I always tell my designers to look out for along when it comes to booking. And you'll start to notice things don't seem right in your business when it comes to your clients. So one big red flag was that she, she was trying to book within a two week window. Two, she, I don't chase, right? I don't chase anybody. But I do, if she comes back into the conversation, until a deposit is made, I don't take it seriously. And at that point, I was just like, when it comes down to collecting money, it's until they make that payment, that's when I put it in my calendar, right? But it took her two weeks to submit the full payment. One, she wanted a discount. She wanted the garland at $350. I charged her $400. And then two, she wanted the arch, which would have been even double that or not double up she was still looking for a discount so those are again red flags that are coming up too she took forever to not only give me the payment so she's like oh can we do cash i thought that was a little suspicious but i was like okay that's fine so then we were supposed to meet halfway because i'm not taking a payment without you know doing the work i'm not going to show up the day of and and take a payment that way so she ended up saying like, oh, can I just Venmo you instead of using my invoice processing system to do that? So that was another thing. So these, these things could just add it up, right? To the point where she finally pays three days before. Again, I've never done this to anyone, but because she was having a baby right now is the reason why I was like so emotionally tied to her story. But my business doesn't need that, right? You need to do things outside of your personal feelings. So, um... 
I'm trying not to kill Xavier while I'm doing this. <laughs> Ended up happening it was, I actually was out with a friend on a meeting. We went to brunch and she actually turned into a client. So I, I was telling everybody it was a client meeting, but I, I think I manifested that. She's like, actually, I need balloons for my graduation. I was like, oh, even better. This is a, a now a client meeting. So I was out since 11. I didn't get home till th almost three yesterday mind you i had texted her the night before saying everything is done we're good it was took her forever to fill out the forms it was just like one bad thing after another and i was just like you know what this is a loss on my end it's okay i'm just gonna do it like i said we're gonna do it fine but her she blows up my phone yesterday she's like can you i was like i'll call to confirm and then i'll let you know when i'm eight you know i'll just make sure the time and the location is good she's like okay so then she goes and she hits me up in the morning in my DMs. Mind you, I'm already out. She texts me, she calls me, her mother calls me, she texts me like, wait, what? I just talked to you the day before, why are we like blowing up my phone? So I told Xavier that, you know, like this is something that, you know, he's learning how to run his business too. This is something. What? I should have came in my car because the house that I need to clean is Stop, are you kidding me? Dang. I thought about it. I was thinking that too. I was like, dang, imagine is, imagine the the house is over here. <laughs> right. he, has a, he has a job, guys. He's not like my full assistant just yet because, of, of course, he's helping me, so he should have brought his car. It's okay, though. <laughs> the last thing was after blowing me up, you know, I was getting nervous because it's like, okay, what I'm starting to realize is that people who ask the discount are the ones who feel entitled, right? I had just talked to her the night before and granted, one thing I went did wrong outside of like booking her and not just saying no. Okay, so now Xavier is gonna help me, you know, when you guys get assistance, you can have them now reach out to your clients and say, you know, just to confirm, I just wanna confirm, blah, 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 blah. So now Xavier is gonna do that for me because if and when my hands do get tied, because as we continue to build this business we're gonna get more clients in the door we're gonna get you know we have to make sure you build systems that are able to sustain a lot of clients and what I was doing doesn't it can't be sustained you know if I'm working with a client and I have to confirm and I forget then it's at a point where you have to realize you need help so just keep that in the back of your mind when it comes down to running your business overall though we have to go north okay overall though the, the garland came out really cute. If you ever been to Orlando, there's a place called Celebration. Celebration was bought by Walt Disney. And he brought all this land and ended up wanting to build homes on it too. Or there was like a history behind Celebration and why the, they named it obviously Celebration. But then now I don't think it's owned by Disney anymore. So when we went to her house, her house is completely decked out with Disney, Mickey Mouse, her daughter's room was full of Minnie Mouse. And I told Xavier, you know, with my last client, if y'all watch the vlog from the behind the scenes with the Disney balloons, like this is a real thing. So people are literally taking Disney like seriously. Like this is not like some hobby or some cute thing. Like, nah, this is a real, ex like a culture out here. So her, her house was all completely decked out. So. I just wanted to say that we're driving down the highway, so I'm gonna be safe. <laughs> um, and then I'll follow up with just my last minute thoughts. You sure you don't wanna show up on the, the vlog real quick? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll show up in another one. Yes, the next one. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, I am home. Sipping on my coffee. Okay, so. We made it. <laughs> Let's stand in front of the window so we get a nice... Let's make sure it's a nice view. I hope you all enjoyed this. Xavier will show up in the next behind the scenes. He was just like, I don't really want to be on the film, right? I totally understand. So, which is interesting because my business culture is that my team now has to be prepared to be on camera all the time. And I didn't realize that was even a thing until it became a thing where I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, I vlog. <laughs> all in all though, it was a really good event. Again, a lot of hiccups and it's just kind of like reminding me like, hey, make sure your policies are like tight knit because last minute just doesn't serve me and my business long term. All in all though, I think it went really well. 
I think it came out cute. There were a lot of things, again, that it wasn't just her fault. It was my own, and I should have had clear systems in place, which is why you have to make sure you have clear systems because otherwise, you know, you'll get hiccups along the way. But I will say this is that don't shy away from the peep, from your mistakes and everything that you do. Don't shame yourself. Don't be like, don't get mad. Like, learn from it, right? CEOs are problem solvers. So you have to continuously solve problems that come up in your business. And every level or next level that you go through is another lesson that you have to learn in order to skyrocket to where you want to be. So that's why I wasn't like I took the L in the sense of like I shouldn't have probably done this event there was a lot of hiccups but I'm also a very optimistic person so I always view things like things will always work itself out and her mom was a beautiful woman and then her daughter was around too she was obsessed with the balloons they really like had this Mickey theme going on throughout the entire house so Mickey Mouse is very important to them um and which a lot of people are that's why they moved to Orlando so other than that, I have really nothing else to say. Be on the lookout for more video content with Xavier. And as the team continues to grow, you'll see more of us. Like, this is still part of, like, the six-figure journey that I want. So if you haven't checked out, like, this video right here, make sure you do so because uh, that's really the behind the scenes of me as a, as a CEO growing versus... Um, you know, showing you just the business side and being professional. It's more of like the mindset of what it takes to be a six-figure entrepreneur and just seeing my story, right? It may be different for yours. I go on live all the time. Well, not all the time. I go on live from time to time on Instagram. So if you ever want to get a more updated, you know, of where I am, feel free to go watch me on Instagram. Like that's more of like the day-to-day, -day, 24 hours, what's going on. Um, and don't be scared to say hi. <laughs> I always like saying hi to my my beautiful subscribers. Anyways, we're almost at 20,000 subscribers. I don't know when this video will go on, but if it does, hooray to me. If it's not there yet, make sure you share and let people know to subscribe. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you for staying tuned again on this journey that we are embarking together. <laughs> I love you. Design your dreams to reality. You know the vibes. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.